My, yeah, my very first experience with computers was seeing my my mom's big old computer monitor uh, sitting up on her on her dining room table and me just typing uh, buttons. And I remember my mother calling me upstairs. And so I get up quickly and I, it turned out I tripped over a vital cord that was attached to a computer. And as I tripped over it, the computer just fell. And I'm going into the computer and looking into some of the pieces I see uh, what I now know as the motherboard. I see some uh, some nice cores, smaller cores attached, and I'm wondering, what is this stuff? Like, is this all what makes this computer? Because again, at one point, I thought it was a magical box. Um, freshman year of college. Um, prior to that, I didn't have any upbringings with technology or anything. Uh, my high school didn't actually have a programming type class or anything of the sort. So. Going into college at ASU was actually my first experience creating a simple system.out.print hello world. Excited to finally get my hands into a computer and say, I did this, I made this. Most important thing I learned that I'm using now, GM, just perseverance. Like this simple one word, perseverance. Keep it all um, together while never giving up while trying to achieve that goal. Mad Germ Motors is a team of me and about nine others that uh, take the time to, you know, figure out and solve how to make these apps better for the technicians. My name is Brendan Caffey. Uh, I graduated May of 2015 as a computer systems engineer and I work as a software developer. Computers are everywhere and without software a computer is just a dead lump of plastic, glass and metal. And programs are what make computers do what they do and programmers have to write those programs. So anywhere you'll find computers you'll find demand for programmers. Every program we write is a solution to the problem and we're going to be learning how to solve lots of different kinds of problems. And these are applicable to all kinds of areas in your life. 